take a look at Bitcoin and see where we are and where we're probably headed. Now, you know my long-term view. Um, my long-term view is we're headed much higher and so forth. Probably that 118,000 range is what I'm looking for. But that's in the months to come. Doesn't mean we won't pull back. And if we do pull back, here's where I'm going to focus on now. Um, first, we have that breakout level, which is in the mid 30,000 range off of this right here. And let me zoom into that a little bit better. Now, proximity wise, that's very close to a 61.8 between the current high uh, and the previous low right from here where we took off, which would make sense. So this area would become an area of interest for me to buy. Um, that's all I'm going to be basically doing from here on out. I'm not going to be trading. I could have sold here um, the 10% that I bought back down here, but no, I'm just going to be holding and I'm going to be looking to buy on any pullbacks or down moves later through later for the year uh, going into winter and on. Um, because I can't, there's no predictability looking at the numbers uh, if we get continuation upwards or if we're indeed going to pull back. The pullback might not occur, um, but uh, my positioning is I want to get into Bitcoin going throughout the summer and on, uh, like I stated in other videos. So any pullback we do get is going to be me buying, period. I've got plenty of money on the sidelines. And uh, that's my current plan. So now let's zoom into the chart. And what can we see here? Well, the first thing that we can see is short term, we kind of have the pattern. If I look here, <laughs> kind of looks like a butterfly like pattern here. Doom, 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 doom. And boom, kind of shallow, not super interesting, but it could go all the way back to 45K. Uh, that would not be unlikely. That was close to the where I bought previously. Our next support down here, and then our bigger number, the 61.8 and greater, is right down there under 30K. I would like any of these scenarios to occur because I want to buy. <laughs> Uh, so I'm looking forward to much bigger numbers in the future and I'm just looking for any pullback opportunity. So that's currently what I am uh, looking at on Bitcoin. Uh, there's nothing to do. I'm hoping for a pullback. Uh, if we can get 61.8 uh, all the way down to 30K, that would be fantastic. I know some would be saying, oh, I just want new highs. And well, that's not the way trading and, and numbers work. Uh, it would be nice if we made a new high, and there's nothing to say that we won't, but uh, nothing goes straight up all the time. And uh, I, I'm looking for a pullback, and I hopefully we'll get it all the way down to that 30,000 level. Uh, other than that, uh, there's one I want to point out that wings, as you can see right here. Let me go to wing. Oh, I get the right one. Yep, there we go. If we remember from last week, this is the one that Bryce called. This was a very good trade. I like the volume dynamics on it. Um, I could see the accelerated ticks. Uh, this is just a perfect trade. This has perfect, geo it has everything you want in it as a trader. And sure enough, it is making its move up to that target level in the 80 range. Uh, I don't have to tell you. Um, this is not what I would call a big play, <laughs> but uh, it's one that I believe is going to go right to this $80 range, the $79, $80 area. And sure enough, it's made its move off of here. Um, makes sense. Um, so Bryce gets credit for this one. That was a really good trade, good pick. And um, I'm looking forward to go all the way up to that the $80 range. And so far, it's from the $30 area, the $34 and under uh, that I stated. Um, 
it made its move. Uh, it started to. And ultimately, I'm looking forward to get to that, that 80 range up here. And uh, I like this trade, as I stated before. Um, I thought it was very good quality and a very good uh, spot by uh, Bryce. And uh, thank you for that, Bryce. And um, uh, also, our last one that I want to go on about, because this week is going to be just, uh, I'm just going to be in watch mode. Unless we can get a really big pullback, I'm not going to be doing anything but uh, looking at maybe some of these other ones, like this one right here. And this one at 38 and under from right here where it did this first breakout, I like on uh, Litecoin. Uh, it has the geometry. It's settling right now, but no problem. Uh, I'm going to be looking for this one to uh, out trade Bitcoin in the future. And it'll be interesting to see how that, that pops up. And to get back to numbers, that go all the way back up to here. Uh, I'm putting this on BitGang. Let me get to Coinbase. I don't know why I have that. Uh, let me take that off. Sometimes I get strange exchanges. But anyway, um, as I was saying before, I'm looking for numbers that go all the way back up to here. The 0 .4, um, 004. Point zero, man, I need more coffee. <laughs> Point zero zero four five seven six, And uh, I'm looking for numbers that get back up to there and above uh, in the future. I like what this uh, price action is and the way the volume moves on it. So that probably likelihood of that meaning is that Litecoin, simply put, is going to be outperforming Bitcoin in the future which is kind of interesting because it's kind of a little bit overbought, but it has much more positive resonance, uh, and I don't know why, but I then again, I don't really care. I'm just noticing what's there. Um, so if we get higher highs and, and numbers that go all the way out to new highs on, on Litecoin in the future that go all the way back above this 400 range, I would not be surprised. It has that kind of price action in it, so it's kind of an interesting one to me. If I was looking for one to break out, this would be the one. Uh, the other one is my favorite. Uh, this is a position that I'm holding. I'm just waiting for them to to uh, to announce. You know, the SEC. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. This is kind of dangerous because we're not knowing what the 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 U.S. government's going to do in, in the case of Ripple, but. They really don't have any grounds, and they seem to be looking at the, the court case. And from the what is being said is that uh, they seem to be in a precarious position. The government's case, so that bodes well for um, XRP. And again, if this pays off, uh, I would look for above two dollars. So uh, we'll see. Um, but that's it. Uh, nothing really interesting. I, I do again. My my favorite is the wing. I think that was a great trade that uh, Bryce chose there. And I think we're going to 80 on that. That's the most interesting thing that I see out in the market right now. And as far as Bitcoin goes, I just want to buy it, I, but I, I want it to pull back. I would like to see it pull back. If it goes all the way down to under 30,000, a lot of people might not like that idea, but I, I that would be a very good area. And ultimately, I'm going to be looking for that 118,000 in the uh, the months to come. And that's basically it. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.